got one that can see. Hey, I hope everybody's doing great. Um, so I, I just want to share an old video that I recorded back in early of 2023 uh, when I was documenting uh, my parasites. And this was one that really kind of blew my mind. I was just learning video editing at the time. And so it's pretty raw and I just did it with my iPhone SE. Uh, I didn't have a microscope at the time. And so uh, the resolution's not the best, but the results are undeniable. Uh, now, I, I've learned a lot since this, so, so this recording's a couple years old. So, so these are uh, flukes, liver flukes, which are a type of uh, parasitic flatworm. Uh, and uh, the, there's a large thing or whatever that's like really disturbing, but then all these little baby larvae are, are the babies of, of the large thing, right? And, and they work in unison as a team. It's, it's pretty wild to watch. It's very disturbing. So, so this is in proof of, this is while I had an apartment in Albuquerque, New Mexico, a little one bedroom ground floor apartment. Uh, this is proof that, that my environments were being uh, intentionally infected with lab grown parasites. Uh, and it wasn't limited to these flukes. I, I've, uh, I've documented roundworms, I've documented tapeworms. Now, the, the crazy thing about all this is, is not just that I'm being intentionally infected in that these are, uh, are, are, are lab-grown parasites, but, but according to the scientific and medical literatures, uh, the liver flukes are not free-living, all right? They, they, they exist <laughs> internally, and you, you have to eat, like, contaminated food. They can't just crawl onto your feet and, and, and then crawl up and, you know, infect you that way, but they can but of course, the medical and scientific literature regarding parasites is just, you can't, you can't trust any of it. So, anyways, um, watch this video. It's, it's pretty entertaining. So, obviously, I know a lot more now than, than I did when I recorded this video, but I, I just want to share it with everybody, so. Okay, so I get movement and biting, and it usually starts on my feet. Um, so I was getting a lot of activity on my feet and I grabbed this empty yogurt clean container um, that's all white, it's about a quart, um, and uh, uh, it's just filled with hot water and the stuff I dumped from the dustpan onto, uh, into the yogurt container uh, from uh, around my feet. As you notice, you'll see some stuff moving around. Um, we're losing resolution as we just zoomed in there. Um, but you can uh, make out some figures and let's go ahead and take a closer zoom here and um, Here you can see what looks like to be like a tail or, or at least some sort of um, um, uh, Flame or something coming off the back um, Of these uh, dots these black dots. It looks like they're swimming. I don't know if they're tadpoles I don't know if they're worms at this point um and I don't know what that large object was, but we'll get back to that one in a second. And here we're going to take a look at this one in a little bit more detail and follow its trail all the way down, um, focusing on the little thing, not the big one. Um, and you notice that trail of fumes going there. Um, and then there's the big one here. I just want to cut in right here. Are these black parasites graphene? I remember a while back when people started talking a lot about graphene. And uh, we were getting censored real hard with uh, medical misinformation and all that stuff. But uh makes me think that they're putting graphene in the chemtrails, the water, the food, you know, the whole programmable matter. It's really some sinister high magic, in my opinion. And then there's the big one here. Let's open that. You see it sort of swoop in, pause, turn swoop back in and it just like glides in and so uh and here we zoom in um and look at these black dots around it or whatever and it looks as though there are little tails coming off of them or little tadpole bodies um and this thing is submerged and when it goes the black thing goes underneath you can actually see the bodies that i'm referring to now look at this they're like lifting i i swear to god these objects around it are worms or tadpoles that are lifting this object here and putting it into position. I don't know what this object is. 
Um, but it's definitely fascinating. Now watch it lift. Um, Cause this was at near the bottom of the surface and they just fit it right in here, nice and snugly. I mean, it's like professional um, sea crew team. Um, so look at that. And you, there you could see like the bodies that I'm talking about, the tails. I don't know what they are. They're more than tails, they're, they're like arms. Um, but here we zoom out and I just want to show you that this water is not moving. There is no current whatsoever. And uh, you can see one dot moving. Um, just to show that um, this is legit. Pretty wild stuff, huh? So, um, if you really want to know the truth about parasites, while my site isn't comprehensive, it is pretty extensive. Uh, so, um, basically, parasites are the cause of chronic illnesses, mental illnesses, uh, addiction, all these other things. So um, I, I lay out on my website, notthatkindofcrazy.com. I'll drop the um, uh, link to the website um, in the description. Uh, please check it out. Uh, all this information is available for free. There are no trackers, there are no pop-up ads, or no ads or anything on the website. All this information is out there. If you find anything valuable in any of this, go ahead and I, I, I could really, I really value some support in that section financially, but, but just uh, the, the best way that you can support me is liking, subscribing, and sharing this because you know, obviously the algorithm is not going to push this message. So anyways, uh, everybody have a great day. All right, bye.